welcome to another exciting episode of Radio Joe. Today we're going to be looking at the Solaris Technologies portable tower. We had him bring one into where I work today and demonstrate it for us. Pretty interesting piece of equipment. Um, it's a commercial tower, trailer mounted, cranks up to 120 feet, um, and it's totally portable. So, thought it would make for an interesting video. I hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, the Solaris Technologies portable tower. The anchors, right? I talked to my I, because I had the number. I know it's in the manual, but I, I don't remember. I, I had my, my guys. So all depends where you put it. So maybe this is 120, but maybe you put it 80. So you need to put 40. By this is the trailer is eight feet long. Uh, wait, wait, you know, so it's eight is 40 by four. 40, 44. It starts here to there. So 44 feet out. 44. So I just put it in uh, 120 degrees separate. Right. So you yeah. see the, this is the, the ears with your guide wires. Right. So you put one in that direction because it is there. Mm -hmm. The other one in that direction and the other anchor in the other direction. 120 to separate. But it all depends where you go. So you go like 120, so you go half. 60 by 4, 64 starting here to that direction. That is the 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 the, 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 the anchors. Okay. The other thing for the anchors, when you have concrete, you can put the the anchors right because you can make a hole. Because sometimes, like in Mexico in Cancun, uh, the towers is in the parking area. You can make a hole. So the other way to put the anchors on the guide wires is concrete blocks. Concrete blocks, water tanks, all depends on the situation, right? But normally we use this one, okay? The only thing, all, the, all my towers coming with the anchors is the reel. You see the reel there? That reel, what is the, the reel? The reel is, this is funny because one time, you know, tower there and the guys work with the fiber optic huge fiber optic and I see the guys sitting the, the fiber optic there in the reel and I asked the guy where you put the, the fiber optic in the reel they said yeah maybe we put it there the way I'm an expert in fiber optic but it, I think it's glass <laughs> I think it's glass also I don't think so it's a good idea to Imagine rope the guy. Yeah, it's, I don't know. What is that? Right now in my toolbox, I have like uh, nine guide wires. For this tower, is nine guide wires. Okay. We put we put the guide wires in the top, in the middle, and in the, the, the bottom part. Right. Mm -hmm. So right now the guide wires is nice and neat. When you remove the tower for the side. Good luck to try to put it there. <laughs> Good luck. It's a mess. So that's why you have the reel. You move the reel, somebody holding, you lock it there, and you store the, the guide wire there. Let me tell you, this is, uh, I, we have towers everywhere. I think maybe one or two of the people using the reel. Why? Because like when you put the tower inside, Normally coming like two or three groups, you know, teams with trucks. So the guys put the guy wires in the floor and put it in the truck. And never use that one. It's a good thing, it's easy, but we recommend be careful because maybe the same team don't deploy the tower next time. And what happened with the guy wires? And you need the guy wires, okay? Because that, that's talking about the real uh, cables. I have two different sides of cable. For the steel, it's a 3A, 3A cable. For my gear, this is the main main uh, cable for the pulling system, is 3A. All my sections is by 16. And my spring, the last uh, drum there, by 16. What is the drum for the, the for the spring? And the last the last section, the small one, 
right here in the center, you have the spring there. That one, that drum work, when you move the tower to the side, you section to this. So that, the spring help you to the section don't, don't fly out, right? So that's the only purpose for that, for that drum. Like that, for transportation more. Like that, the, the, that one help you. The section moving, but stay inside and never go out. That's the purpose for that one. And we use all, uh, all my bolts. We use some lock, uh, lock nuts. All the bolts, all the washer is grade A. Why the grade A? First, it's good for the corrosion. And second, it's stronger. It's really strong that, that A because you had the grade, the grade 5. Oh, but it's not really good. We try to use only grade A. All my bolts, the bolts for the base, and all the bolts for my for my section. In my tower, my section, we use, you see the, we have the rollers here. The roller, the coming, it's a, it's a mix with uh, zinc and aluminum. It's uh, strong, but at the same time with something, because that happened. When you, do, when you leave the tower for a long time, and the, you know the, the birds make the, how do you say that? Yeah. The nest, yeah. and especially in the, in the first section. Only when I move the tower, I tell the guys, you need to remove that, that house because the, the, the birds make the house early. Come on. So, and you have eggs and everything. Sorry. Take it out. So, what happened? Because all, all the little things. Maybe it's stuck here. This is a strong for support of the weight and all the pressure. But it's like, a, it's not that strong to this uh, block your power. So this is the, that's why this, that is the combination. It's good for the corrosion. You never have problem with that. And all my rollers coming with the pin and clip on the other side. Right that you have the roller in position. So that is part of the maintenance. When the when you the the uh, him you, you, him asked me about the maintenance, and that's part of the maintenance. We need to be sure, before you deploy the tower, be sure all your rollers is in position with the pin and with the clip before you extend the tower. The other thing, we check the cable like that. Don't <laughs> use gloves, okay? Because it's painful. When you, I feel something, any spot, I never deploy the tower with something in, the, in my cable. I replace the cable, right? So that's part of the to the tower. I talk, we're talking about the ring. The rings, we put the rings there. We install the rings there for you all your your cables, fiber optic packs coming inside because when you have the tower in 120 and it's the wind, it's really it's really bad. The cable do this. So the rings help you to prevent damage in your tower and protect your equipment. Because every move is moving your, uh, every hit in the tower moves your equipment, okay? So that's why we put that one. Sometimes you have more equipment. It's not big enough to put all the cap uh, cables. It's possible put it in the other side. We normally, I recommend putting it in this side and the other side. No, in the, in, the, in the other side. Why? Because you never put the, the cables down here. You don't want the cables here. This area need to be open, okay? That's why we have that one. The top, like I explained, that one's coming with three legs, right? But we do need one top with four legs. We build that. We build frames. You tell me what you want, and and and, and uh, we build whatever. And we had the good welding guys. We had the engineers. So to to provide whatever you need. That's the 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 pads and the safety locks. 
That one that we buy, we put that one separate. It's not coming with the tower. It's extra, right? Uh, when I drive the tower, I install two straps. One I hold in the first one, the first section to my first section here. The last section to the first one. I had the we I had the spring there, but this is the extra protection. Like that, my mm -hmm. tower is not moving a lot. I have the strap there. I connect that one in the first section for the bouncing. But that is plastic. And sometimes the rope is really bad, so that's why I put the other strap around the first section to prevent a lot of bouncing. Uh, The tower coming with three limit switch. One in the trailer here, one in the top here, and one in the bottom there. Okay? The limit switch here in the bottom in the trailer is when you tilt the tower, the limit switch stop the tower in the tilt position. And these plates, this is the safety plate. This plate need to stop here in the trailer, and later you connect the bolts to on each side. Like that, the, the tower is ready to extend. So in that, in that in that position, you have this and the cable because the the winch holding the tower. Okay, so that's why you have that safety plate in each in each side. Uh, that one, the other limit switch is when you extend the tower, when the, my, my second section, the roller, activate, my limit switch stop it. Why? You don't want to pass there. Because what happened? When your section is stopped. So that doesn't happen because you have, that's why these three limit switch working together. With some limit switch fail, the other ones don't work. So, but well, that's the purpose for that one. When you stop the tower here, the let me switch and stop the tower there is in the full itself. So when you stop this one here is a 120. And the other one, in the bottom, that is for opposite. When you coming down, the, the second section, activate my let me switch and stop the tower there. Okay, that's talking about the limits. Do you have any questions at this point? Please put attention. After this, I make a question. Do you have any questions? Okay. Let's talk about deploy the tower. The first thing when you go to the side, you need to be sure, try to find a spot is flat. Flat, no power cables around you, trees, be sure everything is clear. You park in the tower and you put the outriggers. I already put it there like because the rain, I think maybe I help a little bit. So you put the outriggers, and you put the jacks. Two in the front, two in the back. The candle, I recommend put the candle here, not under. Why? Because maybe you need to move you don't want to do this. You have the handle, you see it. And not only that, when you tilt the tower and you leave it in tilt, I don't recommend, especially when you leave the tower for a long time. But when you tilt the tower, some people connect the guy right here. When, when, for no long terms, you know, just for a little bit, you put it here. And when you don't go too high. So, you put a level, the tower coming with two small levels, one here and one here at this side. So you need to level the, the trailer before you do something with the tower. So you level the tower, already leveled the tower, the trailer, that is ready. And you move the tower at that point, okay? Be sure you disconnect that one. It's plastic. 
break it. So be sure that one, you remove that one, you have the, everything in level, and ready to go. got some initial startup current you can hear it in the generator but yeah. when it's running it's probably only drawing eight amps or so seven i doubt it's drawing once the once the motor's up to speed that's it's probably the problem with that initial current draw popping breakers you for the weather okay uh, we have the videos we test the top the motors under the water to run perfect but that's not the problem the problem is when you leave the tower for a long time inside so I know I believe you know that you're familiar with the motors inside when you have a little water you have corrosion a mm -hmm. little bit but with that little bit the motor lock so you need to open, clean it, and boom. That's why we put the covers to prevent that. Okay, why I, I stop the motor, the generator? I want to explain this. This is the cable I'm talking about. The main cable, 3A. Right here, this, this one, and the first drum. This is the spring. You want to fill it? Pull it. Pull the, pull the cable anyway. Pull this one. Put the other one. Loose, right? Loose and tight. Why? This support all the weight. That's why uh, you see the pulling system. Go there, go down here, up. You have three five inch pullings here, and three there in the in the top with the big uh, wall. 
Okay, last one. This guy. Loose. This is your spring. You hit the spring. It's there. You see? That's the spring. Always need a bit loose like that. Okay? The cable need a bit loose. Always. Because that's the purpose for the spring. Put the section like that. When you transfer the tower, that helps you to do that. In this metal box, we have two sprockets. That sprocket connect these two drums. The purpose for this drum is to storage this cable. Then what happened? You have the two sprockets here in the chain. Then what happened with the chain? Somebody cut it or something happened. That uh, damaged the tower? No. Because the, all the system is in this drum with this gear. So remember, this drum is for the storage the guide wire, the guide wire, the spring cable. So when you disconnect these two sprockets, the only thing happens is when you put it down, this cable go to the floor because this drum is not working. But after that, nothing happened when you break the cable, the, the chain. So remember, this is for the spring, this is for the gear. When uh, we the, uh, tilt the tower, when we start extend the tower, it's possible. You see, I'm moving everything, one person. But I don't recommend one person. I recommend minimum three or more. Why? Because I recommend somebody here, right? But when I, I said before, when it's 100 degrees, stay here for 35 minutes or maybe the 150 is 45 minutes to go to the top it's hard it's, it's 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 for the weather right so i recommend switch you finish here like 10 minutes okay can you try and switch so that's why you need more people and not only that when i tilt the tower i said before and now everybody's here but i said this when you when you're working with the tower don't use the phone. Don't take a selfies. You need to put attention in your tower, especially when it's moving. And the other recommendation when you move the tower, nobody stay in the top of the trailer. Because it's moving, it's a lot, it's a heavy equipment here. So why you need more people? Because you have the guy guard, right? Before you tilt the tower, you start the guide wire. So you tilt the tower with the guide wire. So one example. Imagine, imagine this is your guide wire, okay? Coming in this direction. Imagine, one example. Sometimes the guide wire do this. Oh, on there, I don't know. What happened, you try to extend the tower and the guy was pulling down. So that's why you need more people walking around, checking everything. If the guy was on the stop. And the only thing, the other thing when I drop, when I test the tower, when the tower is ready, it's ready in some way, I test the tower a couple times. When I do this, I try to test all the towers when, I, uh, when the towers are ready. When I start moving the tower and I hear this, little thing, we, we have the big generator far, so it's quiet. So when I hear little thing, something, I stop everything, I put it down. What is that? Washer, Take it in. something, the clip. Okay? It's ensembling, remember, when the ensembling, we humans, somebody leave extra stuff there. So that's why you the hard head, right? So I put it down. Find everything is okay. We need to find where that coming from. So normally it's extra, but I wanna be sure. Because I don't want to extend the tower in the one point, the one 
roll it, fly out. So I want to be sure everything is inside. So that's the recommendation here too. You need eyes everywhere, around the tower and ears, if something happens. When you extend the tower, that's why you need people. First the guy wires, the other one, you see the guy wires, the, guy, the cables, where the rings is there, right, the pulleys, and you have cable in each section. And you have cables here too, and you have cables in all your sections here. We have the three cable system, pulling system. Why? Like I explained before, the the cables have a lot uh, a lot of power to support all your sections. So when something happens with one cable, you cut the other two. Like that, you have enough power to put it down because I don't recommend leave the tower there. There with the cable when only one, when only two cables. But you have enough power to put it down, replace, and back. The other thing is, when you're working here, you have eyes on this side. I don't have eyes to this side. Mm -hmm. So that's why I need people. Somebody need to check there, and somebody need to check here, the other side. What happened? When I test the tower, I never test the tower, I never extend the tower with no guide wires. When I test the tower, I don't install the night guide wires. I, I install only three in the top. Why? This tower is possible. Climb the tower. But I recommend climb the tower when the guide wires is ready inside. You don't climb the tower when the tower is not safe, okay? So that's why I install the guide wires when I test the tower. Because I told you about the birds. When the tower go up, everything is okay. When the tower coming down, the cables in my section, the cables, when you see right now the cable is straight, right? It stands. But when the tower coming down, and any cable do this, I stop the tower. What happened? One section is not coming down, so one section is locked. Normally, it's the last section. Why is the last section? Because it's the small section. Don't have enough weight to, to come down. And anything, like ice, like uh, dust, like uh, the birds, is stuck in my roller. And look, at that happened. But I see only this side. I don't see the other side. So that's why when the tower coming down, I need ice in both sides and all around the tower. What happened? The cable do this. What happened? That's why I had the guide wires when I testing. Put it, put it. and you see the, the cable. Put. Tense the cable again because it's nothing. Something blocked my roller. And like that, I don't send somebody there climbing the tower to see the problem. That's it, just the guy wires. So, yes, you climb the tower. But I recommend climb the tower when the guy wires is inside. And you climb the tower. The, the tower support uh, a lot of weight. Have the lead. Let me give you the number exactly. I have all the information and the and the and the manuals. The tower support eleven hundred pounds. Eleven hundred pounds. So have enough power to for all your equipment. I couldn't take too and many tools. Fat. That's just like two radio <laughs> guys, right? <laughs> Not somebody like me. I'm too fat, but I don't think so. I climbed it that way. <laughs> I'm too old and too, too heavy. But you have enough uh, power to the tower to move everything. But I recommend climb the tower only when the guy wires is inside. And anchors, concrete blocks, water tanks, 
So, anyway. Question? Good? And it's good. All right, so that was the Solaris Technologies portable tower. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, it was a pretty interesting tower. It looks like it's built rather well. Um, definitely liked the cables uh, with the swedged ends. I don't know if you paid attention to the little tags that are on there. So those are professionally made, rated cables, weight rated cables. Um, they're tagged, so um, definitely a good show all around. This tower uh, put together really well. Um, so, unfortunately, they wouldn't stand it all the way up for us. I was kind of hoping they'd crank it all the way out to 120 feet. Um, but, you know, they were concerned. We didn't have guying set up or any of that. So, and I understand that, you know, you, you, safety first. But um, you did at least get to see how it operates and, you know, how it's put together. So, pretty neat. Uh, thanks for watching the video today. And as always, if you enjoy our videos, please hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.